I want to tell one last story. This, this kind of uh, wraps all this up in a nice little bow. But basically, I had a meeting uh, a couple years ago with a big ad agency. This is back to the commercial world. And my agent sent me to this ad agency. The, the, this ad agency has clients like Gatorade, Nike, biggest ad agency in the world. They have like 80 offices around the world. It's huge. And she was sending me to a meeting with the top art director in this agency. And I'd already met with this agency a few times. They never gave me the time of day because they see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographers all the time, the best in the world. Um, and it's really, really hard to get hired by them. So she, she sends me again to this agency at the end of a Friday, like 5 o'clock, literally, literally their closing shot. And so I'm sitting down with this guy, and I have to wait on him for a while. Finally, he walks in the office. And we sit down, and I start showing him my portfolio. And uh, I'll flip through a few more back to the beginning kind of slides of you know the celebrities I've shot. And I can tell, you know, he's like, hey, your lighting's nice. You're retouching, you know, le nice images. Um, but keep in mind, he sees the best in the world on a daily basis. Um, and so I'm not wowing him at this, at this time. Um, uh, just showing some random slides. And so, uh, so at the end of my like, celebrity portfolio, you know, he's like, nice stuff. And he, I could feel that moment. We were about to shake hands. All right, man, have a good day. We'll see you later. Um, I was like, can I, can I stop you? Can I show you a few more things, just some other stuff I do? And he like, hesitated and was like, uh, sure, why not? So. Um, so we sit down, and then I, I go back through, and I tell him about my family and my children, um, show him some of the, the projects I've done, showed him some Polaroids, and then I showed him, told him the short version of the Africa story I told you all, um, showed him these same slides, and then I told him about Voices of Haiti um, and what I've done in Haiti, and then I told him the same story I told you all, the whole thing. Uh, it's about a 30-minute longer meeting. And then I told him about Help Portrait and how it started this idea and it had blown up and gone global. And um, I told him about uh, uh, the trampoline project with my kids. I told him about uh, all kinds of other stuff. Told him I'm starting an iPhone app. Um, by the end of me sharing basically my heart and my passions, um, all the Rwanda, all the humanitarian stuff, he was basically dumbfounded. He said, he, he said can I, I'll be right back. And he said, walked out of the room and went and brought everybody that was still there at the office that day. And he brings them back in. He said, this is Jeremy Cowart. He is an idea guy, uh, thinks like an art director, thinks so much bigger than any other photographers we work with, and I want to work with him. And so I was just stunned in that moment because here I was at the highest of the, the advertising world, the biggest art director, and was not impressed with my, re I mean, was not impressed with my normal portfolio. Uh, but when I showed him who I was, uh, he was blown away. And that, that meeting forever changed the way I see my brand. I hate that word, but see my, my portfolio, my brand, my, who I am, like why I do what I do. Because um, I think if, if you go on the internet, we look at all our websites, all the other photography websites, it's kind of the same thing, really. It's like, here's my best image, my best retouching, my best wedding moment, my best whatever. Most about pages on websites are like, I grew up here and this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. It's just real short and there's a basic contact page. But it's rare on photography websites that you really see a person, you know? And so with my website now, I've changed it actually to a blog format. And basically my website, the, the previous portfolio site, I realized I was essentially catering to 2% of the people that view it. And this probably goes for the same, probably is the same for a lot of you watching where 2% of your visitors are actually your clients who are looking to hire you. Maybe less, maybe 1% of my website traffic are, is, are art directors out there looking to hire me for a job. But I've always catered my website to that 1%, right? Like, here's the best of my portfolio, here's the biggest celebrities, all that stuff. But meanwhile, the rest of the 98% of my traffic, and probably yours too, is the general public, is the people on Twitter and social media and friends and family, it's the rest of the world. And I just realized that, like, man, I need to, I, I want to show who I am. And the portfolio is important. It's good to be there. But I want to show everything of me. And it's a little more vulnerable. And, but I just see it paid off immensely, even in the short time that I've had it launched. 
And so I highly encourage you all watching to think about um, all of that. That meeting I just experienced and how it, it's really not about um, just your images anymore. It's about your who you are, what you're portraying, what you're passionate about. Um, and so if you can figure out a way to convey that on social media, your bios, your websites, all that stuff, I think if we can all basically connect, it goes back to that John Schneider story, if you can show real life what you're passionate about and mix that with your talent, you know, your retouching and your all your lighting, all that the stuff we talk about here on Creative Lab. But, but if you can mix all that with your personality, your talent, like I think there's a lot more value in that, you know. And so that's the biggest lesson I've been learning lately. And uh, so try to just put all of that out there. And uh, so far, I've seen nothing but benefits. So that's my my last word as we leave. But yeah, think about your story and who you are and how to get it out there.